Shalom Lekha. Boker Shalom, Boker Tov. And here we are again as we said we would be if it was our arms will. So apparently it's his will, here we are. And when we say our arm again, for those who may not know, this may be a first time watching us, being with us on live stream, social media, Facebook, as well as we're on our conference line, it has now a, our dashboard, but our conference line has a video. So if you're watching a video on our conference line, then you can look over my head and back of me, you'll see a black and white photo. That's a photo, not a painting. A black and white photo, one of several that was taken during this time as he dwelt amongst us in the flesh from October 27th, 1935 to May 7th, 2007. He is who I am referring to when I say Ab, Alabeth, the first he two Hebrew Alabets of our 22 characters, Hebrew, Aleph Beth, that means father in Hebrew, father. And he is who I'm referring to as my father, whose will it is for us to be here today and bring you once again our gospel that we're going to assist you with that was promised to be preached. As I posted over a week ago now, 12 chapters of this gospel of the kingdom. And the title of this gospel is, and I quote, by this capital B lowercase i, in parentheses, open parentheses, the second beast of the closed parentheses, den. That's capital D, lowercase e, n, end quote. This is part eight. Being brought to you by our director, our producer, our editor, our writer, and our cast that's here with me today. Miami of Florida, United States, that's where we're broadcasting from. Miami of Florida. And he is, the director is, again, over my head that you see on the screen. His name is Yodhe Boave. He's known to us as Yodhe Boave. In English, he's known as Yahweh. Yodhe Boave. That's three Hebrew characters. One of the three positioned twice. Yodhe Boave. And that is who I am of and who I am from. I'm your host, Mem Yod Kalf Yudhi Wafi. That's five Hebrew characters. Two of those five are positioned twice. That brings about seven positions, seven spirits, all biblical, spiritual, and prophetical, to be here today to fulfill prophecy. And those seven spirits can also be read in the book called Isaiah in chapter 11. And speaking of Isaiah chapter 11, Break out your study tools, and the first of your study tools should be the King James Version of the Holy Bible, the 1611 edition, King James, also known before James as Yaakov, the first Yaakov as a king of England, of the United Kingdom, Europe. You're also going to need your Strong Concordance, Strong's Exhaustive Concordance by James Strong, and in the Hebrew, that's the Hebrew, it has a Hebrew section and a Greek section. The first Hebrew reference of that Strong's Concordance in the back of that Concordance, the first one, it goes like Strong's H1. H-1. And you should see, if you have the correct one, you should see AB. Or from right to left, Olive Beth, from right to left. In English, from left to right, A-B. And next to the definition of the meaning of that word is father. And that will explain to you what I meant just a few moments ago when I said, ah, uh, father. If you have a dictionary or two, grab those, unabridged if you have. And your thesauruses, your Hebrew lexicon, Greek lexicon, Set of encyclopedias, your citizen finder by Jerome Irving Odell. 
and most importantly, it's most important of all. We have a writing utensil, so grab something to write with, something to write on, even if, even if it's a cardboard box. Write on that, tear it up, cut it up, write on that. You have a paper with notepads, composition book, write on, get one of those, but take notes. Praise the Father. Praise, Praise the Father. With that said, welcome again to part eight of, again, quote, by B.I. In parentheses, the second beast of the den. Capital D E F Dan. End quote. And for the record, for the sake of this recording, either verbal and video, this day, today is being observed by all citizens of this planet. At all seven continents. Even by all 193 members, 193 members, countries, and states, that's the members of the countries and the states, not the individuals. The countries and the states that became members, 193 of them are the United Nations, the United Nations, that's headquartered here in the United States in New York, New York. All that are now being ruled by the what's called the Gregorian calendar. That was revised. It was revised by Pope Gregory the Thirteenth on Thursday, the fourth day of October, fifteen eighty two, which was a day on record that that Pope placed into law of their time to govern their time of his new calendar that replaced the Julian Caesar, the Julian calendar, which had been used since 45, 45 BCE. You know what BCE means, right? You know what BCE means? That's why we're here to assist you with your study. We're not going to study for you as we always say. We're not going to study for you. We're going to assist you. We can't even help you. We can't even help you with your study. We're going to assist you. Now, whether you accept our assistance or not, that's totally up to you. Because besides, it does say in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, study to show thyself approved. So if you want to go on out on yourself and follow those 10 steps that you were taught or that were recommended by a foundation of peace, then take your 10 steps as we leave you behind because we're going to take 12. To catch up with all 12 tribes of Israel. So do you know what BCE means? No. BCE means before common era. When you look at that in your encyclopedias and you see BCE, don't forget that. Don't get it confused with BC. BCE is before common era. If there was a common era, that means it was an era that was not so common. That came A.C.E. after the Common Era. You got it? I mean, before the Common Era, it was chaos. Now you got A.C.E. after the Common Era, opposed to B.C., which is before Christ. B.C., before Christ, A.C.E., after the Common Era. And A.C., or A.D., after the death of the Christ. But the question is, and subject is, why did Julius Caesar give up his throne as he had a successor. He left behind his calendar and the successor came. Actually, it was Augustus, but Augustus didn't change the calendar. In fact, if you look at history, Augustus put the time back to the way it was with the Hebrews, the 360 days. He followed, he followed, he created a, and made the Roman calendar follow the Hebrew calendar, which was 360 days a year. Look it up. Study it. Research it. So Pope Gregory, he revised the calendar and from Julius Caesar and put it back in motion to govern all nations on this planet today by that calendar. We're not going to go. The subject is not the calendar. The subject is today and how our people are being deceived and what day it truly is. 
And that's because Pope Gregory's involvement with the Papa, being the Pope, he flexed the muscle and put the calendar back the way Julius Caesar had it. So, I mean, his new calendar came to be known as it is today as the, quote, the Gregorian calendar, end quote. And it's now being internationally adopted by every recorded country on this planet be recognized to this day to be, and I quote, Wednesday, September 8th, 2021, end quote. And that's, that's all, now don't be confused, this is a planet. So that time, that day is being recognized on this side of the planet, this planet's hemisphere. You got it? There are four hemispheres. This side of the hemisphere, that's the date. September 8th, 2021, and I'm looking at on the East Coast of the United States, I'm looking at 9.37 a.m. a.m. after midnight. So, today, being what it is on that calendar, on this side of the hemisphere, September 8th, 2021, 9.38 a.m. now. And yet, on the other three sides, there are three more sides. On the other three sides, this is for the record sake, recording. On the other three sides, one side just turned dark already. They're going past Wednesday. Another side, that other side is going on Thursday, September 9. And as Hawaii, Hawaii, the Pacific, the Pacific is now six hours behind us. So that means it is now in Hawaii, six hours behind us. It's two, that would be 2.38. Is that right? Or 7.38? No, 2.30 a.m. We're nine o'clock, right? 9.39. 939. So, six hours behind would be like three, three thirty-eight p.m. a.m. after midnight. Yeah, they haven't woke up to their coffee yet. They're still in bed. I told you, I'll be the first to admit it. My math is terrible. I mean, I can count six to nine. Wow, Isn't that terrible. It is. It's terrible because I'm not governing my soul based on that time and their hours. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why my math is so terrible with their numbers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I could explain it if you give me a chance. Mm -hmm. Notwithstanding, see, I'm notwithstanding with them. So if you give me a, a minute, I'll explain why, however, that this day is the second day of the fifth day, the second of the fifth day, that was sealed by the Christ, by the power of their nation. L-A-T-I-O-N. Maybe that's why my math is bad on their math. Because I'm going by elation and L A T I O N of their language. Mm -hmm. That that I hid, that he hid, the Christ hid. He hid it from the rulers of this world thousands of years ago. Why? In order to shorten the days, their days from 365, Gregory and Julia, Caesar, back to 360 perfect days, Augustus of the circle. That circle, the O, if you will, and that protects, that protects the elect from being destroyed. It's for the elect's sake, from being destroyed by today's Cyrus of Babylon, as you know him, Cyrus in the Bible, C Y R U S, who happens to be related to Dan, but they don't know that. Michael should tell you that. Yes, it's in the book called Daniel. So maybe that's why my math is so bad because if I had not shortened those days for the Alexei, they'd be destroyed by Cyrus of Babylon. And my stuff just so signified that by their English word, they're known only as, I quote, revelation, end quote. Revelation. Why? Because revelation sealed the lation. Revelation, seal the lation.
L A T I O N. As the river was hidden in the never. The river was hidden in the never. There's a part by Lamed that supported the Asian, A T I O N, the Asian, A T I O N. As Nun, the 14th Hebrew Alabat, supported the never. N E V E R. Now, too, I can explain why my math is so bad with that clock of time. I said, the nun supported the never, N-E-V-E-R, of their word, to release the ever, E-V-E-R, that created the revelation, R-E-V-E-L-A-T-I-O-N, on how these five extra days from 180 days, which is half of the days, that are the total of 360 days, are now subjected to the foundation of the suffix, A-T-I-O-N, the Asian, that is known by the celestial lodge as the motion of its celestial object that travels from one place to another and yet it stays in one place to become a local motion, end quote, quote, end quote. And that is to move five days back into one place of time to a city where the elect of Yudhwafi will be in the last days, which is the very city and place where Yudhwafi first came to that city in 1979 as Moses Israel where he chose to place his name Yodhe in that city in that place and that local motion praise Yodhe praise, praise Yodhe now with that that's, that's, that's why my math is so bad I told you I could justify myself so that means this day to us is the second of five days of that local motion that we haven't started counting the second half of the 360 yet mm. until we get to the first day of the seventh month, which is coming up. But right now, we're in a local motion that we're not going to move. It's going to be in the same place, even as we spin with the Earth on its axis at 1,037 and one third miles per hour. Mm. Stand in one place, and yet we can't feel it because we are in a local motion. We're at a standstill. Mm. Praise the Lord. Father. Now, with that said, this is that gospel of the kingdom that was promised by their word known as Shell. S H A L L, Shell, that would be preached in all the world for a witness that's one witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. I am that witness. The witness of who? Mine are, your Wafa, as you see over my head. His witness. And that nation, by the way, it says all nations, plural. Now I have good news and bad news that will identify all nations in that promise. First, the bad news. That all nations is not part of the 193 of the United Nations. Not one. Not one of those 193 members, nations, of the UN is part of those nations. Mm. It's the bad news. As hard as they try. As hard as they try to become part of those nations, they're not. It's the bad news. Here's the good news. Those nations are 12. Mm. That are not part of the 193. They're 12. And they are made up of the 12 territories that divided, were divided and given to the 12 sons of Yaakov. And they were promised to be preached to their fruit, their fruit in the last days. And those fruits are empowered by the eye of the apple and the blood of the grape. <laughs> and they don't know anything of that. I repeat. I am, I am here as his witness to preach this gospel to 12 nations that were divided into 12 territories to the fruit of those 12, 12 territories that are here today that I am powered by the eye of the apple you know apple have an eye and the blood of the grape one grape now turn to Deuteronomy chapter 32. 
and let us explain to you what we mean by this. Deuteronomy chapter 32. As I make this proclamation known and sealed, I'm going to seal it and let it be known today why I'm here, why I am here. You have it? Okay. Well, give ear. Give ear, O ye heavens. They thought heaven was a place to go when you die. But somebody named Peter or somebody gave us at a gate. How could heavens, how could those heavens be a ye? Ye heavens, how could they, how could those heavens be a yod from the east? The Yahweh is from the east. Heavens. And I will speak. And here, O earth, planet, nations, the words of my mouth, mem yod, my mouth. Does that sound familiar? How can we prove that it's my mouth? The same thing was said to the one who said it now. Let's set the record straight so they'll know. So they can see I'm not making this up. It's my mouth. Go to Mika chapter 1 for a moment. The book called Mika. That's what they call me today. They stripped off, they stripped my name, stripped it up, tore off the Theophoric extension off the end of Mika Yahweh and they stripped off Yahweh and now they call me Mika. At one time, it's known also in the Bible as Michael. Mikael, who is like God. Mikael means who is like God. Which God? God, there are many gods. There are God's many and Lord's many. Which God? The God we serve has a name. Yohid Wafe. And because his name is ineffable, they stripped it off of my name. It said I would come in his name, so it stripped it off so you wouldn't know I'm coming in his name. They thought see, they were wrong. They err. I beg to differ. <laughs> I have to laugh at these fools. They had no idea what that meant. Mm -hmm. And just for the sake of those who may be hearing this for the first time, as you even watch the visual of my face, that's promise in Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. It said, every eye shall see him. Now you know what every is in Revelation. E-V-E-R-Y. The E removed from the V become very. The very eye, your very eye from the east will see me. It didn't say all eyes. It said every eye shall see him. You got to remove the E from the east of those who come from the east will be the very soul that see me today. Because they'll know me. So they stripped off Yahweh and called me Mika because they said we, we, they won't know that it's him that come in his name. Who? See, coming in his name doesn't mean I will bear his name. It means he would he would name me. He would name me by his name. I would not name myself. And that's for the record. For all those who thought that I named myself, and you see my Facebook timeline, and you see from right to left, Mem Yod Kaf Yodhe Wafe, Shar, the seen wretch, Yodhe Wafe, that means the prince, the great prince of Yahweh. I didn't name that. I, that's not me. I didn't do that. I didn't go in the library looking books and I decided to call myself Bika Yahweh. I didn't do that. <laughs> I have I am come in my father's name. That's his name. He named me that. And then he told me a secret that they did, and I studied it, and I found out what the secret was. They stripped off the Theophoric extension off my name to become Mika Yahweh. Got it? Yeah, yeah. It's not my name. That's his name. So I can officially say I have come in my Father's name. Mm -hmm. hey, praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. See, Yahweh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to come on both levels. Yeah. Oh, because my people also call him Yahweh. Mm -hmm. So just so you know, God's been here, Lord's many. So now I come down, I descend it down from the special heaven of the Hebrew to my English speaking people terrestrially today that's been raised by the slave master in English. So praise Yahweh. <laughs> now, check out verse 2. I have to say that. I just said it. Mm -hmm. It's only in two places in the Bible. I just read one, now here's the other. Hear, all ye people. See, hearken, O earth, and all that therein is, and let the Lord God, see, Lord, lowercase l-o-r-d. Lowercase is the Son. 
that God is the God of the earth. Capitalized. Let him be witness against you. Now, I am his witness. I am my odds witness. And now I'm a witness against you. Why? Because you don't want to be his witness. So now I got the witness against you. Who? Ma'ab, yod hid from his holy temple. He is now witnessing against you. He witnessed against you before I did. Because he came first. And pretty soon, I'm telling you, verse 3 is going to be fulfilled. Four. Who? Behold. Yodhiwave cometh forth out of his place and will come down from where he is now and come down and tread upon the high places of the earth. And the mountains shall be bolted under him and the valley shall be clipped as wax before the fire. And as the, as the waters that are poured down a steep place, I just want you to see where that came from while well, reading now. Go back to Deuteronomy now, chapter 32. So you can see who it is that said, give ear and hold you. Hear. See, I hear? It's the same as the ear. It's just the hay is there now. The hay is there in front of the E. Without the hay, ear. You have hay, you have ear. <clears throat> so give ear and hay, which is the life of the ear. Hay, the second hay, life. Any questions? If there's no questions, then give ear. And I will speak. And he, I want you to hear. See, hear, hearken. O earth, and the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. The gospel. My speech shall distill as the dew. As a small rain upon the tender herb. And as the showers upon the grass. Why? Because I will publish the name of Yo Hey Wav Hey. How could that be Yo Hey Wav Hey publishes his own name? Someone has to do that for him in a gospel. I said, I will publish the name of Yo Hey Wav Hey. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God, our Elohim, Yo Hey Wav Hey. Why? Because he is the rock, not me. He is the rock. His work is perfect, for all his ways are judgment. He is also what? He is the God of truth. Not A, they put that there, because they wanted to form their own God, so they left him as another one in the back of theirs. He is the God of truth, and without iniquity. Just and right is he. They have corrupt, corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children, they are a perverse and crooked generation. Do ye thus requite your Hewave, the Lord your Hewave, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he thy father, thy Ab, that hath brought thee? Hath he not made thee and established thee? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy arm. Ask thy father. Ask him. And he will show thee. He will show thee. Thy elders. And they will tell thee. If they listen and hearken. But they will not. Why? When the Most High divided the nations. Their inheritance. There's your nations. I said. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. Who is the most high? See, it doesn't say the Lord. Right. And you have to go back now to the book called Joshua to find out who that was that divided the nations. Mm -hmm. wow. And then you know who the most high is. When he separated the sons of Adam. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. They're your 12 nations. That's who I come to preach to. Why? Because all other nations to me are as nothing. nothing. They are nothing. And they are counted to me less than nothing in vanity. Mm -hmm. For the record reference, Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. Verse 9. For Yodhiwave, the Lord Yodhiwave's portion, is his people. Yaakov is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land 
and in the waste howling wilderness he led him with about he led him about he instructed him he kept him as the apple of his eye and there it is by the eye of the apple and as an eagle as an eagle stirred up her nest fluttered over her young spared the broad her wings taketh them bear them on her wings so did Yodewave. So Yodewave alone did lead him. Him that divided the nations, known as Yahshua, the son of Nun. And there was no strange God with him. Why? He made him ride on the high places of the earth. That's what made him the most high. Why? Because he rode on the high places of the earth. Made him ride on the high places of the earth that he might eat the increase of the fields and he made him to suck honey out of the rock. Could you imagine how hard and difficult it is to suck honey out of the rock of these hard-headed people and yet they still have sweetness in them? He just got to suck it out of them and make them give it. Hard-headed people. Yet they are born with honey in their souls. <laughs> and or out of the flinty rock even those that do not want it, they're stubborn. But yet they have oil in them that will pour it in them in a cup that he anointed them with when he was here. So I have to go and suck out the oil of that flinty rock, the flinty rock. Butter of kine and milk of sheep with fat of lambs and rams and the bread of Bashan and goats and the fat of kidneys of wheat and thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. There it is, your liquor. That's the blood of the grape. And that's who I'm here to preach to. Now, with that said, and straightened out, as we just revealed in part seven yesterday, let's continue now on, on here in verse eight, in part eight. And we're going to reveal more of this crypto, the crypto that sealed the name, I quote, Joseph Biden, end quote. Don't be confused now. You know, there's a son of Yaakov whose name is Joseph. You'll say. And he's by. Two. Twice. He's also in a den today. The lion's den. Hmm? Okay. And that is according to what we reveal what the true and original meaning of the Hebrew name is for Dan. D-A-N which was revealed in part seven. Now you have to refer back to that video of part seven, yesterday's date, which was September 7th, 2021, or the first day of the five day count of our local motion. As the Hebrew word is known as, and I quote, den, spelled from right to left, Dalit, Aleph, Nusofi, den. In English, is from left to right, D-I-N, den. It also gives a homophone sound of den, D-E-N. So you have den, den. That's by. B-I is two. Good, why? Because it created the noun known as den, D-E-N. And what that English is now means, we revealed that yesterday. However, in the in the concordance, you may see it spelled from right to left, Dalit Yod Nun Sophie. That would be that would be D Y N, right? That would be the Y. The, the Yod represents the Y or the I. Mm -hmm. So it'd be D I N D Y N. However, I gave you the correct spelling of the Dan, which is which is Dalit. Aleph no Sophie D A N. Any questions? So that gives the English noun a new name. And just to reiterate, here's what we revealed in part seven yesterday concerning the erroneous erroneous name, known as Dan, D A N, as follows. Now let's see if we can reiterate. This name Dan. English from left to right 
from left to right, D-A-N. Came from the original Hebrew word known as, in the concordance, from, from right, right to left, Dalet Yod Nusuf, as I just mentioned. But in English, it's from left to right. It's from left to right, left to right, D-A-N. Now in Hebrew, from right to left, <laughs> is Dalit Yod Nusufi. That's what they put there, pronounced den, D-E-N. And this Hebrew word, den, D-I-N, or D-E-N, it means two in the concordance, to act as judge, to minister judgment. One, to contend and strive. And with a default meaning, that means to be at strife, quarrel, or and to be low enough. We are looking for the default meaning. We are looking for that meaning. Here's your reference, remember? Strong's H1777. Let's see if it's there. Strong's H1777. 1777. And you can call it Victoria. Get your study tools. You can call it. You have it? You have from from you have from right to left Dalit Yod Nusofi, is that correct? And it gives you D I N. And see, we're here to help assist you with the study. You have to know how to find the truth out of that. Mm -hmm. Rightly divine. See, that's what it means by study to show thyself approved unto your head, And you, know, you, you need not to be ashamed while you're doing it. You, need, you could be a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Why? Because now we're assisting you to rightly divide the word of truth. Rightly divide the word of truth. You have that right, especially under their First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America. Okay, now, with that said, this den that you see, Dalit Yod Nusofi, that we first revealed in Part 7 yesterday to you, you and all of you, why you, all of you, there's also pronounced and known as den, D-E-N, had now been revealed to be the lost and now found one to become by. That's capital B, lowercase I, by. Now you see why it's by. Dan and Dan. <clears throat> right? Dan and Dan. Dan and Dan, Dan and Dan. That's by. Now repeat, the Dan, D-E-N, that produces the by. B-I, there's also a literal den, D-E-N, that's found in the floor, one floor of the White House in Washington District of Columbia, that was used by several presidents of the United States of America. The den, D-E-N, one time used by somebody's mother that was president. Wanted to get away from it all, just relax, put a little couch in it, a little den, study room. You have to look this up on your own, I'm not going to. Okay. Nevertheless, and as you can only see, you can only see, your C is S-E-A. That's all you can do. Even as those love to go to the beach in the sea. S-E-A. You can only see S-E-A and now you only know. You know now in part seven that this Hebrew word, den, Dalit Yodnusofi represents someone or one person that was brought back here in the last days to merely do what? To merely act as a judge to his own kingdom. Just like Cyrus. As well as to be a strife to others that are not of his kingdom. Did you see a definition? The meaning? That's that day. That's why they put that definition there too as the last one. No fall. 
So he is to act as a judge of his own people, his own kingdom, and a strife to others that are not of his kingdom, like the so-called black man of America, and black women, black children. And you want us to hold up a sign in front of the in back of these white devils and volunteer blacks for these white devils, these Cyruses, these Dan's, these Dan's. You want us to be for them. Oh my. I just to say that it's just the idea that I'm going to stand behind Michael is going to stand behind a white slave master from Germany. <laughs> The great grandson of a of Drunk. See, Fred changed that name when he came over. From Drunk to Trump. And you want us to stand behind a German uh, executioner of black people after standing behind my father in the temple. <laughs> after standing behind our black father with nappy woolly hair. God, the mighty, mighty God. <laughs> and because he's a sinner now, we must go stand behind the enemy of our father and volunteer us for him. Blacks for Trump, for Trump. And applaud him as our new God, the great as we promised to make Abraham's name great and a, and a great nation. Abraham is a great nation. His name is great. We read that in Genesis chapter 12, didn't we, yesterday? We sought back to part seven of this gospel, yesterday's video, September 7th, 2021. And yet, we are to do that as he commits strife against us have you so, so deceived until you think he really cares of you getting a vaccine shot. And yet, the one who has stood behind before him, his predecessor, have the world thinking he, he's created a vaccine before he left office. Well, yet, months before that, they confessed that it would be years before they can come up with a vaccine against this so-called, quote, COVID-19, end quote. Mm -hmm. And yet, before office, was given up on January 20th, 2021. They had a vaccine that was now available for at least eight weeks prior to that. And now we must applaud the one and thank him and stand up behind him to be reelected again on August of this year, to retain his seat, August of 2021, that he would get his office back. And as he, even after he does not, they still support him. Even after he invaded and they charged the White House, charged, literally charged, on January 6, 2021, that caused a few lives, they support him. Even after he held the Bible upside down in front of a church during the pandemic, held it upside down, let you know about where his mind is. He didn't mean to do that. His, his soul caused him to do that. Why? Because he had the world upside down. And he has the word of Yonibafe upside down. And now you have some of our people behind it with a sign that are upside down. Could you imagine? He also wants to quarrel with them. He quarrels with them. Other nations, others of other nations he quarrels with, with them even the African-Americans. And that is even to be lower people, to be a lower people than the other people. And they may want, what do you mean by that, Mika? Mika Yahweh? What do you mean by that? See, that means that this den, Dalit Yod Nusofi, den, or den, is truly the serpent or this serpent that is found in the King of the Virgin Bible's book called Daniel. There's actually the ancient devil of Babylon, also known as Cyrus. Got that? And we have met with the God of the Hebrews. 
we met with the God of the Hebrews from 1979 to 2007. <coughs> and some were still meeting with him as he uh, ascended on that day. We met with him. And I'm going to make it a, another announcement. I'm going to make it known again today, since we met with the God of the Hebrews, that this is not climate change. <laughs> Don't err and think that the scientists or some people on this planet is causing what's happening now with natural disasters to occur. We met with the God of the Hebrews, and what you are experiencing on this planet are plagues that you think is climate change, hmm. even in the form of water. My soul even told you, I warned you thousands of years ago, at least 2023, that in the last days would be like it was in the days of Noah. Yep. I said that. They can read it. It's in Matthew chapter 24. I said it would be as it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be when I come, the coming son of man be. So what was it like in the days of Noah? It was floods. Don't they know that? There were floods and people drowned in the floods. There were also whirlwinds. That's known as a pestilence. And there were also pestilence that are known as pestilence, which includes lice, grasshoppers, rodents, roaches. All of these are part of the pestilence. You got it? So it must be the last days. As it was in the days of Egypt. We kept insisting and in going to Pharaoh even as I was there. Now I told him then, I'm telling him again today, let my people go. Let my people go. Or you will see no you now you're gonna see parasites. Parasites coming. They're not microscope. Parasites are gonna be on come on the flesh. There's some more pestilence. Go inside the skin. Mm -hmm. Eat your skin up. Cause the scratch and itch. You won't even see them. They'll be there. When you start scratching and itching, and your skin start turning, and your boils, boils start coming on your your, red, your pink flesh, your pink skin turn mm -hmm. red. Let my people go. In other words, the serpent of the King James Version book called Daniel chapter 6 and verse 3 is not to be confused with or compared to a quote Donald John Trump Sr. end quote. I repeat this serpent this one of Daniel chapter 6 and verse 3 of the King James Version Bible is not to be confused with or compared to Quote, Donald John Trump Sr., end quote, or Jr., who was already deemed as what? He's what? The Great Dragon, quote, unquote. That's why he wanted to make America great again. You got it? Yeah. That's in Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. got it? Why? Because, quote, Donald John Trump Sr., end quote, was the 45th king of Babylon. 45th. And furthermore, quote, Donald John Trump Sr., end quote, was the second king of Babylon after May 7, 2007. He was the second king of Babylon, the second Cyrus. It's more than one Cyrus. But did you know that? Not only that, but Donald John Trump Sr., quote unquote, also stands at six feet three inches in height. And Donald John Trump Sr., quote unquote, is by the history of this world, again, the great dragon, quote unquote, that came out of a womb as prophesied. He came out of the womb as prophecy said he would on the sixth day of the fourth month. And solar year, known as 5949, and care of our calendar, Yuri Wafi's calendar, which is the same as, quote, June 14th, 1946 of their calendar, Gregorian calendar. 
end quote. And we all know that that terrestrial body appeared after his successor, that is now known as the 46th king of Babylon, who's known as, quote, Joseph Rubinette Biden Jr., end quote. Why? Because he came out of his womb on the ninth day of the ninth month. There's also symbolized, it symbolizes two sixes, upside down, six six, upside down. He also came out that year, the soil year was recognized as 5945, five nine, four five of Yahweh's calendar, Yahweh's calendar. However, we also know that, quote, Joseph, Joseph, Rubinette, Robinette, Robinette, Rubinette, vowel change, Biden Jr., end quote. See, that's Reuben's firstborn. That's, that's actually, that's Yaakov's firstborn, Reuben. That shall be tell you, that tell you that shall be for you in the last days. And that is equal that time, that, that four plus nine, that's equal what? That four, actually that four plus five. That four plus five. See, he stands at exactly six feet. Oops, did you know that? Wait, let's go back for a moment. He came out of the womb on the ninth day of the ninth month. It also symbolizes two sixes upside down, six six upside down and the solar year was 5945 of Yudhu Wafi's calendar, our calendar. Now Joseph Rubinette or Robinette Biden Jr. he stands at exactly six feet in height that's 6.0 as well as the four plus five of the latter part of the 59 of the year, solar year and that equals another nine, that's the third nine that joins the first two nines, or sixes, of the month and the day of his birth, nine nine. That's nine nine nine. As the other six upside down. Right? To bring about the symbolical, numeric number, or numeric that is spiritually known as, I quote, six six six, end quote. Which is the same as November 20th, 1942 of their calendar, the Gregorian calendar. Now we know this, but did you, did you know that? That's why we help me to study. We gotta bring to light who is who and what is what. Standing behind someone who is. But what you did not know, so you knew that, but what you did not know is that this particular 666, quote unquote, is not the same as what was sealed in the book called Revelation in chapter 13 and verse 18. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not the same. That's a different crypto. Mm -hmm. Prophetic crypto. No, no, no. Don't be confused with that. Remember, this particular quote, 666, end quote, is related to the revelation of, quote, Yosha, Joseph, Rubinette, Robinette, by then. B I. Dash D E N Junior, end quote. And thereby B I. Thereby, see, thereby, <laughs> thereby, this particular 666, quote unquote, was preserved by me. Mika. Mika Yahweh. Mikael. By way of being transferred to Yaakov. I said, this particular 666 six, six is preserved by Mika by way of being preserved to Jacob to his 12 sons <coughs> of that which shall befall, become a befall for the last days. That which shall become a befall, quote, befall, B-E-F-A-L-L, -L, befall for the last days. In other words, let's break it down to a piece of In other words, Actually, in other prophetic and crypto words, in other prophetic and cryptic words, this particular, quote, 666, end quote, 
was preserved to become the symbolic cryptogram of those three ribs that would be found in the mouth between the teeth of the second beast of Revelation King James Version, Revelation chapter 6 and verse 3. I repeat, good gracious. I said in these other prophetic and cryptic words that this particular 666 that's connected to Joseph Rubinette by Dan Jr. was preserved to become the symbolic cryptogram of those three ribs that would be found in the mouth between the teeth of the second beast of Revelation chapter 6 and verse 3. That would then cause the third president of the United States of Babylon after May 7, 2007 to become a subduction to the first beast before him that was prophesied to behold those three ribs in his mouth that's connected to the neck of Judah of Genesis chapter 49 and verse 8 that thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemy. And this revelation was sealed in the King James Version Bible book called Daniel in chapter 7 and verse 5. Turn to that. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 5. Turn to that. Now I want you to read that. The, the ribs and the teeth of a bear. Daniel chapter 7 verse 5. Yes. And behold another beast. A another beast. What? A second. A second. That was what? Like to a bear. Like to a bear. The second like to a bear. The first bear was Trump. The second like to a bear with the same complexion is Biden. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the other bear was before May 7, 2007, and he was a black bear mm -hmm. from Africa. Mm -hmm. You got it? Okay. okay. And what else? And it raised up itself on one side. Okay, now that one side is a bear backwards without the A. And when you, when you spell bear backward, you got rib. <laughs> With the E. And it raised up one side. What? It raised up itself on one side mm -hmm. of what? Even of the bank of the Potomac River. Because at one time, he was on the other side of the bank of the Potomac River. And what, and what else? And it had three ribs. Three ribs. Mm -hmm. Six, six, six. In his what? In the mouth. In, in the mouth. Of what? Of it between the teeth Between of the it. teeth of it. That's connected to his neck. <clears throat> his mouth is connected to his neck. His head. Connected to his neck. And what? And they said thus unto it. What? Arise. They were those of his people. The voters. That mm -hmm. voted for him. <laughs> his cabinet members arise and do what? Devour much flesh. Devour much flesh of the children of Yahweh. The children of Yahweh, the tribe called Judah, the so-called African Americans. And because of this great subduction of a ceramic plate that is made up out of clay, the clay that is connected to Baden as part of his feet, of chapter 2 in verse 33, verse 33 to 45, of which verse 42 says, you pause here for a moment, and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken, end quote. That's again for your record, that's Daniel chapter 2. You can read verses 33 to 45, and I just read verse 42. You have more? If that's it? That was it. That's it. That's right. End quote. Even as those feet are also made in part as the plaster, P-L-A-S-P-L-A-I-S-T-E-R, that was seen that makes up the wall that will break and cause Babylon, the great city, to fall. It's falling. It's falling. And this is the very one, the very same one who has now become a judge of Babylon, whose spiritual and biblical name is truly known as, quote, Belchazar, Belchazar, Belchazar. 
also as quote unquote also quote Cyrus. Cyrus, C Y R us. You can see us right now with him. Here we are. See why we're here as us? As the first president of Babylon. And with that said, with that revelation, we will reveal, explain more cryptic and mysterious revelations in the next part. Part nine. Which is now, that now brings us to the end of part eight. This now brings us to the end of part eight. Again, it's titled, the this gospel is titled, I quote, by, that's capital B-I, in parentheses, the second beast of the, close parentheses, den. Capital D, lowercase e n, end quote. That's part now will continue. If it's my Osmail tomorrow. Tomorrow. Any questions? You have that? Okay. Well, with that said, we want to take a moment to say Toda again to those in Hebrew. Toda in Hebrew, those who join us and you learn the Hebrew language again, your Hebrew idiom, your own communicating language to one another, Hebrew, that the Jews stole, they speak it fluently. You can hardly speak English. You can't speak English at all, really. My people, they can't even speak English. They speak English Creole. Only the people in England can speak <coughs> English. So my people today, Judah, speak an English Creole. Just like my people of La Vie, they speak French Creole. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So those who are speaking English Creole today, we say peace, peace to, to you. And your your Father in heaven, He loves you. In Hebrew, your Abba, your Abba, your Ab in heaven. He's the Anakiahab, Aniahab, and so do I, your host, His witness here on earth, your witness, your servant, Mem your Kaf your Wafe. I say. I love you. And we'll see you tomorrow. To all of those other nations that are tuning in out of curiosity, I, again, I don't wish you any peace. I wish you nothing but pure, for the rest of your life, hell. Pure hell. I will not even say shalom to you. And just like I will not say shalom to you in the beginning, is what I'll say to you at the end. Bye. <laughs> Bye.